Welcome back everyone to Strategic Command as the Central Powers. It is now March of the year 1917 and we're in the last stages of World War I. Serbia, France and Italy have all capitulated already and Russia is looking very, very bad. They are only 20% national morale. The British are so far looking the strongest. They're still at 62%, but we have dealt a significant blow to their fleet. If we have a quick look at the reports here, we see that the largest naval power in the world is currently Germany with 24 ships, and the UK only has 17. Uh, Russia with 12 ships is actually not to be underestimated, but Austria-Hungary has 10. Austria-Hungary and the Ottomans together have a bigger fleet than the Russians. So overall, the Central Powers now have naval dominance as well. But yeah, uh, we're going to obviously check out the remaining front here in the West, which is basically just Normandy and some other parts held by the British, but not for long because we have pretty much surrounded their forces. We'll start up here. And um, I've seen that this core, even though it has a lot of experience, the first UK core with three total experience can be easily crushed. We're going to start with this attack over here. Ooh, six damage, three damage that we took. That is a little bit unfortunate. But, um, you know, honestly, I'm going to actually attack with the Cav. There we go. Got some national morale bonus for that. And let me quickly see if that changed anything. You're, no, you're still at 62. Okay, I'm going to pull back my cav at least to... <clears throat> well, let me move you forward. This core. Yeah, that's five action points. Interesting. What if I move you forward? You could also move here. All right, then we'll do it like this. You can move in here. <clears throat> you can move here. And I can move you to Rouen. So that is still protected. We could go for another attack. A 2-3. I think we're not going to do that. There's no need for me uh, to rush necessarily. Then let's check out what we have here. We've got two entrenchment and three shells. Um, then might as well go for it. Uh, I am going to not upgrade you, but reinforce our recon bomber. We don't need it here. And we'll just use up all of our shells for this poor unit. And even deal some damage probably on this one no we didn't interesting okay one four attack a one four attack uh, let's attack with you first very good took two damage even that's actually more than expected one three let's attack with you nice and destroyed you without taking any damage then i am going to hmm <clears throat> well Probably move you up here. I could move in here as well. Probably going to move here instead. There we go. And I could attack, but I am going to instead entrench over here as well. I know it might not seem necessary, but I don't want to... I don't know for how long Russia can hold, so I don't really want to take any unnecessary casualties. And so we're going to prepare that. We're going to go nice and easy, nice and slow and prepare our attacks properly then you could move here um at zero eight zero eight that would absolutely destroy that plane then i think i'd rather do that we'll destroy what we can very good and then this seven strength core i don't need here you have already attacked as well then i'll move you i could move you here where you could either attack Hmm. Interesting. I haven't fully decided what to do with you now. Then I'm going to use our railway gun. I'm going to put you here and we'll start um, punishing London again. In fact, I'm even going to send an airship to London. We took some damage, unfortunately. And we do see that the UK still has detachments and cores and, there are, and even artillery. So they are by no means weak. They still have units over here okay interesting then what do we do here we have several things i do have another i have nine shells well we're going to be using all of them that is for sure remove your ground cover and then remove your entrenchment and then 
I have a couple shots left. Let's um, let's keep going here. Deal as much damage as we can. That was all of our shells. Now two five or one six. Okay, right, finished you off as well. Took the damage, unfortunately, but um, that's okay. You have attacked. You have not yet attacked. Zero three, oh nine. Um, I'm thinking that I'd rather move you up here. Actually, we'll probably attack. Six to zero. I could move you in here. Finish off King Albert of Belgium, who has hid for such a long time. Then you have no more strikes left. And let's move you here. Let's move you here. <clears throat> you have one strike, 0322. You have a strike. There's a lot of you with strikes left. Let's, um... Well, you have no... You have no entrenchment. I already attacked you. I'm going to attack the cannon. Six damage, none taken. Uh, let's move here. Finish off the artillery, very good. And then I still... I have you to move forward. Attack the headquarter as well. And then... We can no longer move, but I am going to bring up my artillery into this position and then von Falkenheim can move into the town okay then you can nobody can attack so you'll probably s keep this position i'm not sure but you Orleans, already up uh, you're already cut off you will be you will fall it's just a question of how i haven't fully decided yet we have this core that can attack zero three let's start by taking out you Take out the headquarter first. You can move here. All right, let's move in here. Okay, we didn't get that quite. That's sad. Um, that's actually pretty annoying. I could get here. You know, I have an idea. I think we can switch you. Perfect. There we go. That works. I wonder... Uh, you now no longer get to move. We can potentially move you in. Or this cav can actually do it. That's fine. Oleong has been taken. And now we just have this core to deal with. Shouldn't really be a problem. Let's attack 1-3. Bit of damage there. You can move back. Move you in here. And then be able to finish you off with this core. Okay, we actually didn't. Um, but doesn't matter, we have one other core that we can move in. There you go. Now you're done. Uh, actually took a little bit longer than I had expected, but we eventually finished you off. Alright, then I think that's pretty much everything we need. In fact, you can actually... We can actually even move here and then we'll have the prince move to Paris. And I think the rest <clears throat> will have these four commanders. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think the rest we can send over to the Eastern Front. At least that is my idea. So we'll have this core. Now we have to kind of see how we do this. We have... A couple cores down here, and we have von Bülow and the Crown Prince, and we have all of these cores that we don't need, plus the airplanes. Uh, I think I'm going to leave one airplane over here, and I might bring the airship from the eastern front over here so that we can bombard London. At least that's the plan. So this core, I would like to transfer so that we can really start our attack on brest Now, the problem that we, that we have here is that we just simply do not have enough cores because we're being threatened by this cavalry core and we have obviously this core that could um, flank us. And so 
I have you guys hold Warsaw and Avangorod, but yeah, I'm obviously lacking forces. So let's let's check the supply value. We have eight, <clears throat> seven. Okay, then let's move you on forward and start your entrenchment. Then I'm going to move. Well, I can't actually move you all that much forward. Interestingly, then I suppose you will just move here and entrench this position. We have our artillery. Our artillery can't really move forward, but we have to. You could force march. Hmm. I don't really like doing that because we would be exposed. I don't really like that. Yeah, I want to have more cores here. I might, I definitely will bring one over here. In fact, I think that's going to be you. You will be brought straight into this fort of, uh, well, if only we could. All right, well, th this is the first thing I can bring you. Then that's well, that's where you shall be. Then you can actually receive a re elite reinforcement. Let's go ahead and do that one. And as I said, the airship, we can actually up... Uh, this is uh, just naval weaponry. Okay, we don't need that. We can send you strategically over here as well. And we can send this airship here. So this is... We're going to just hit Dover. We're going to hit London, obviously. In fact, how much has that done? It did actually reduce uh, supply a little bit there. Awesome. Okay, so that's going to happen. And then all of you moved... And most of you, I can still send. Not all of you, unfortunately. Because not all of you are on railway tracks. But the ones that are, I'm going to send over. Like you, for example. 21 points. Uh, cost doesn't really matter. Then... Um, gonna bring you here. Probably here as well. Let me see. In fact, I could probably bring you here and have that core full. Actually, yeah, that's what I will do. Bring you up here. And then bring you in the fortify position. It's going to uh, be a bit of a hassle here, sending our troops over. But eventually, it's obviously worth it. Very much. And... This Polish detachment, I'm going to move back. Probably to this position. And you, I'm going to bring to Tarno. You, I'm going to move here. Protect Krakow. And then I'm going to bring another one of these cores. To Radom. Like you, for example. Nice. Yeah, we'll have the Germans take care of Poland again. I like that this Poland det detachment has basically always just guarded Poland in this entire war. Okay, we also have some headquarters we could send over. I'm thinking about doing that as well. But... Do I bring you here or here? Or here? Probably here. That one. Then what else have we got? We've got you, you... You cannot be sent away. You can. Alright. Send you over. Württemberg core. Right here. And then... Hmm. You are not on a railway connection. I need a couple cores here. I want to have three cores that protect these ports. So that will be... One core will be you. One, two, maybe three. Alright. So from Bulo, you'll be brought over to the east as well. I think um, I'll just bring you to Allenstein. There we go. And then... You can move to Lyon. And... Oh, well. Oh, that was actually stupid. Damn it. Yeah, that was actually unnecessary. 
Uh, I, I could have sent you by rail. Alright, fine. Then I'll have to do that next turn. I can send you by rail. One of these cores is too many, but that's fine. And this reserve core, I shall bring over here. There we go. Anyone else I can send? Nah, I could have sent one more, but I kind of... Well, I guess I can send you then, right? And these, these three cores will defend. Yeah, that's fine. Do it this way. And you, I'm going to actually bring here more the defensive position and maybe we'll bring our headquarter the ground the crown prince or we can send we could keep the crown prince here to uh keep up the defense the crown prince can probably uh you know have a little bit of uh sweet times now he doesn't need to fight anymore i think it's fine uh, he's done his duty to the country okay and you guys you are here left this is uh the, another prince von gluck We've got von Falkenhayn and Duke Albrecht. You can deal with the British here. It shouldn't really be too difficult. And then these recon bombers. I want to bring... Well, we have one artillery here. But we, yeah, we don't have any recon. We don't have anything. So might as well bring our plane over. And then this fighter. You as well. Perfect. Okay, so this is pretty much the German army that will uh, be sent over the rest i'll keep here and then the guys that are here they will take uh, charge of defending french after the after the british have been driven out successfully okay then we have a couple of upgrades we can do but we'll have to uh, keep a close eye on our points i don't think i'm going to advance in this turn i think i'm going to wait for well for our forces to be in a better position and so next turn that should be Fine. Where did I... Well, I sent you. I actually wanted to send you by rail. That was a bit of a mistake on my part. And we're going to send... You onto a railway station. And we'll send you by rail immediately. The Polar Detachment. I want to defend Rome. You will be sent to... Syracuse. From where I'm going to start a naval invasion. I probably could have started one here. That probably would have been the better idea as well. But that's okay. I want to use this German Marine Corps to start a naval invasion on Malta. Because that is the only British... Well, there's, there's Lemnos as well. These two islands are still British held. And once they're taken and once Egypt has been taken by the Ottomans. Then there is no more British uh, strength in the Mediterranean. Uh, but what we can already do here is if we have a port yeah this port we can upgrade or rather reinforce our submarine and i can send you to scout the area there's some enemy contact it's a battle cruiser and yeah we'll hopefully be able to deal with that one you i'm going to send you over here okay there's nothing here interesting then I'm gonna put you over here and this submarine will make sure to raid as much as possible okay you will be up or you'll be reinforced that's fine then we have the Austrian front we've got something in Livorno that is a plane a British plane. Let's move in. Quite an experienced plane. Can we... Yeah, we can go here and potentially destroy it. I'm not sure. Only if we go here. One of these two cores can do it. The question is which. You have a readiness of 98, 97. All right, and I think you're the best bet. Very good. All right. Unfortunately, Livorno, Livorno can't be taken just now, but we'll do that later. And then all of you guys are pretty much unnecessary now. I will send you over Trieste Detachment. Marshall Detachment could, could be sent over. We'll send the Marshall Detachment to defend Naples. 
Trieste detachment can move back to Chernovitz. We'll send our artillery to the front as well. We should now have three artillery here against the Russians, which is pretty insane. Um, I'm going to move the artillery piece here. We'll have a third army that will push. Actually, I don't know if that really works. Maybe I want this artillery over here instead. I think that's probably the way to go. Help out the German advance, because they're going on to Breslitovsk. Yeah, we'll have the artillery here. So let's... Yeah, let's put you here. And then we'll bring two cores over. You, for one. Well, probably more than two cores, but two to stay in front of this artillery. Okay, you can't be sent. You can be sent by rail. And then... You can be sent by rail. Not everyone can be sent, unfortunately. Probably gonna put you... Right in here. Who do we have here? We've got the Gors Detachment. Right, you moved as well. So, the... Trento and Gors Detachments, I want to move back. And switch you out. You could technically be moved over as well. I'm going to bring you to this position. You're able to come over as well. Then I'm going to bring you here as further reinforcements. Okay. And then Podjoric and von Böhmermolli I'll send you over. Probably right next here. And then you'll be going to Krakow. Perfect. Wow. Okay. So that's quite a shift. And then you can stay here. And we'll bring you over next time. Well, we can reinforce you for now. This plane we don't need here anymore. We can bring you over as well. We'll bring you probably, yeah, over to this position too. And then same with the fighter. Ooh, okay, all of this obviously is costing, but we won't have to do this again. This is pretty much the last time that is necessary. This um, ship I'm going to reinforce. I wonder what we can upgrade here. More anti-submarine warfare. Okay. I would like to do that, but I think at the moment this isn't our priority. What is most important right now is that I was initially thinking of sending the Bulgarian cause to take part in a naval invasion against Italy, but I've now changed my mind. Instead, I want them to move to Libya, to the brook to be, spe uh, to be precise, where they will um, take part in the invasion of Egypt and support the Ottoman Empire as they are not struggling, but it's been it's been taken a, uh, quite a long time. Let's make you into transport ships as well. And I'm going to be sending out my fleet. Well, maybe not my dreadnought, huh? Maybe that's not the best. Maybe that's not the best idea. Send out our destroyer to kind of scout the area a little bit. Then what kind of other ships? We have a light cruiser that can do some scouting. Right. Doesn't really get that far. I should have probably put you into cruise mode. Let's do that at least with you. Um, there we go. Oh, really? That's it? Oh, damn it. Ah, right. I kind of messed that one up. Alright, this is not too big of a problem. We can send our dreadnoughts out as well. Although it's a little bit sketchy because of this submarine. Alright, there we go. Then let's send our transports. Nice. And... Do it well. Make sure you are nice and protected. Okay. In fact, I could probably... Probably send... You guys over as well. Ah, see? Oh, so this is... What is this? A royal... Oh, those are the marines! Those are the marines that are trying to escape. 
Well, they won't be able to. I'm not going to let them escape. We do have this destroyer. I can just barely get in range. Oh, it's not a destroyer. A pre-dreadnought. Boom. There goes the marines. Good for them. Now, does that mean... Does that mean... We can do an amphibious transport with the Ottomans? Probably, but I'm not sure if I really want to do that. I do want to reinforce this destroyer so we can deal with this submarine. Um, okay. And then I want our Bulgarian headquarter to also take part in... Or also to ship over to Libya because um, we'll have to... We'll need the... We'll need the supply. And so... That is that. And here, Austria-Hungary. Let's get extra anti-sub warfare. But I don't think it's really going to be changing that much. Nice. So that is Austria. We have the German Navy to deal with. I did what I could with Bulgaria. That's not entirely true. This core I'm going to reinforce. And this detachment will get a weapon upgrade. And then... The Ottomans, you can reinforce. You can also get some fighter uh, development, I think. You can you cannot reinforce. The supply is actually quite terrible because Trabzon has been bombarded so many times. You can reinforce, however. None of these attacks are particularly fruitful. And we can't go and threaten this headquarter again. So there's really nothing I can do here other than stand around. That's literally all I can do. Alright, fine. Then you, I force marched you. Which means, yeah, you can't force march again. Your morale's too low. So we'll try and get back down here as quickly as possible. And this, this is the only front that is really problematic. Um, we are going to probably lose Baghdad here. We have zero supply. This unit has one supply. It has still four action points, which is pretty good. You have two supply, but if if we're not we don't survive another attack. Now we could potentially get here, but because of the zone of control, we can only move here, and that means I'll have to give up Baghdad. But I have another idea. Let's move in our core into this position. Let's. Uh, I was gonna say let's attack, and maybe let's see what we can do, um, but. There isn't much we can do. So I have to move you here. I have to move you here. And I have to move you here. Because otherwise you would be attacked. I cannot risk uh, losing my headquarter. It needs to be defended at all costs. And so, yeah, I'm going to have to leave open Baghdad. It sucks, but I just don't have a choice. If we lose the headquarter here, we will have no supply. And we'll have absolutely no chance of stopping the uh, British advance. So this is the best I can do in this terrible situation. Now you can reinforce to full strength, which is pretty amazing. You can upgrade your weapons, but I think I'm going to do something else. I'm going to utilize you. Um, yeah, I'm going to use you to attack the artillery. I can go here where we'll be in lower supply, but there will be no counter attack. So I'm gonna move you here actually. Zero one. Okay, 1-1. One, one. That was actually kind of not worth it. You could just go back here. Where the supply is 4. Or I could move you in. We obviously want to go into Cairo. And the problem is I need my artillery. And you can only shoot Cairo. Well, you could shoot Cairo from here. But yeah, from here is the better option. Then I will probably move you in here. Because the supply here should be 6. Yeah, perfect. Now I'll move you in. Oh, well. Enemy contact. Um, That's fine. Bring you in position. Cairo is now surrounded from three sides. And I'm going to... Honestly. Entrench. And you will actually go back to Port Said. And you can reinforce as much as possible at least. And then... Yeah, next turn, we'll have our flame, uh, fly, our flame ply, our plane fly. We'll use our artillery. We've, we'll have probably six or five shells. Yeah, and three attacks plus one potential attack. So yeah, I think 
this is going to look quite good. Bulgarians are going to move in as well. They will be protected by our ships, at least as, as good as possible. And we are dealing with the submarines as well. Okay, I still have 280 points. Now, something I haven't, or something I have done. Oh, we have the German tank corps as well. And a new Austrian destroyer. That's awesome. We'll place you here. Um, I have this started purchasing some divisions. Now, I believe this is Tunisia. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. So I'm going to actually purchase one for Algeria as well. Going to give you the mobility. Well, actually, I don't know if I have the points for that. Let's purchase one for Algeria and one for Morocco as well. That is costing quite a few points, but uh, we actually have national morale objectives. So the capital here needs to be protected. Tunis needs to be protected. And then in Morocco, interestingly, this is not a national morale objective, but I've also realized we have partisans. I'm not sure if they actually will attack us or if they're only against the French, but well, they are there. And so I feel like it's important. I don't know why, but for some reason I can't interact with Libya. Libya does not appear here. We only have Germany, Bulgaria, Austria, Hungary, no Libya. Don't know really what to do about that. Okay, so then we attacked here. We did what we could here. Unfortunately, had to pull out of Baghdad. And then we are here. Did pretty much everything. I think we are in a good position. Awesome. So with you, I've upgraded all your ships. Then Germany, we can still do a lot of things. We can upgrade our navy, so let's go ahead and focus on that. Advanced submarine. Uh, this is a dreadnought. Oh, that one is a, a fully upgraded dreadnought. Good. Then let's upgrade our battle cruiser with the naval weaponry. You should be fully upgraded as well. Yes, perfect. This pre-dreadnought can be upgraded. You can be an advanced sub. You are upgraded. Let's bring you over here. So are you. So we have three fully operational submarines that I think I'm going to send out immediately um, on a mission. Actually, probably send you out too far, but that's okay. You'll, you'll be able to catch up. Then you need to be yeah, you need to be reinforced. This submarine is... Oh, yeah, you're ready as well. So we've got four operational subs. And this one in the next turn, probably. You can still be upgraded. And um, this dreadnought definitely needs to be reinforced as much as possible, which is only five. The battle cruiser, bring it up to five or to ten strength. And then another dreadnought that needs to be reinforced. Okay, that's very costly. But overall, definitely worth it. Now I have finally figured out what I can do or how I can use planes by pressing shift. That is possible but the range is only a couple of tiles. But I can basically do this and scout the area which is really cool and I think I'm going to do that probably like here. So let's just let's send you out and then Maybe here? Okay, so we now see what's over there, which is kind of cool. Bring you over here. And then I think I might place a mine just in case the Russians do anything. I mean, why not? Okay, so these are the German points we have used. And we still have this tank core. And, yeah, I mean, we could obviously bring it to the Western Front here, but I think that's not really necessary. I think it has more uses here on the Eastern Front, as that is the one that we now need to focus on. So let's just bring it to Tannenberg um, with Von Bülow, and we'll, we'll find a way to make use of it. Uh, I'm going to let Hindenburg... S I mean, I actually could probably slowly advance with Von Hindenburg's forces. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. Let's do a general advance... Here. At least 
we can move up a couple tiles here. And I think we can... Yeah, move forward from Gumbinen. We do have this artillery to deal with. We can't get there. Yeah. I can't get there. Then, that's okay. We'll move you up to the river. And you cannot move up to the river. But you can move up to here. That... Is... Oh. Nope, nope, nope. You are just a detachment. I'm going to actually leave you in Johannesburg. That's fine. And you, I will move to Gundam. And then... We'll do a general entrenchment. Uh, wherever we can. Like so. And, well, yeah, no, there's no need, or there's no point in attacking. A trench, entrench like so, and trench in this position. I think the cab I can probably bring over. There's no need, since we have the tank in this core here, to have the cab on this position. So we'll rather use it for this attack, and maybe we can move against the artillery over here. And having the Masurian Lakes open is not a big deal. Um, it's a fortification that we can easily attack from our positions because it's only fortifying against these three good then uh, that is most of the German points in fact I believe what the Germans could use is another fighter right because we have a fighter and a recon bomber here we have this recon bomber plus all of this I think a fighter here in the Western Front could be quite useful. Let's go ahead and purchase that one. Uh, fighter here. The first Jagdgeschwader. Why not? Let's go for Fighter Verma 2. And we can just about afford it. So there we go. Nice. And then, um, yeah, that's obviously all we can do. It's all we can do. And then there's still Austria. Maybe there's some research we can do with you guys. Uh, maybe something. Like one thing. Almost done here. We've got... This is something... Command and Control I would like to do. Actually, yeah, we can do Command and Control. There we go. Level 2. Awesome. Yeah, that's pretty much all of our points. And then there is the Ottomans. What else to do with the Ottomans? Nothing I can do here. Nothing really I can do here. I just have to hold. We can no longer entrench. We have a zone of control. So they cannot go around. They technically one, two, three. Like he could attack me. This core could. But I just hope it doesn't. Then again, it's just the roads. One, this probably costs us two. I don't know. He might be able to get here. Then we're dead. But then we've still tried our best. So, yeah. I think the rest of our points I'm going to save up. And we'll see what happens next. So, let's end this turn. Uh, obviously, it took a long time. Austria-Hungary celebrates the Italian defeat. The German people celebrate, celebrate it. But the Ottomans don't care, interestingly. Okay. The revolution in Russia and the setting up of a provisional government there opens up a new opportunity to weaken our opponent in the East. There is a Russian revolutionary in Switzerland called Lenin who could prove useful if we were to arrange for him to be sent to Russia where he will be able to agitate in favor of the Bolshevik party. Would you like to authorize the payment of 25 MPPs to send Lenin to Russia in hope that he will be able to provoke further disorders there? Now let's check the notes for this. The Bolsheviks are hot-headed revolutionaries who call for Russia to make peace. If this party were to gain support in Russia, then it can only weaken that nation's morale and their determination to continue the war against us. Germany's decision to send Lenin to Russia in a sealed train was perhaps one of the most decisive events in the first war, uh, of the First World War. I'm sorry, I can't read today. Not only did it lead to the Russian Revolution, but this in turn led to an increased to increased disaffection among many armies and the civilian populations at home. Ultimately, the success of the Bolsheviks in Russia was to contribute to Germany's own collapse in the autumn of 1918, so this is not a decision to take lightly. And I gotta be quite honest with you, it's a very powerful decision, um, because, I mean, Russia's morale's already low. Yeah, they do have a... I completely forgot they already had a provisional government as well. So we could further increase that and, um, you know, 
feed the, ref uh, the revolution, but it would affect our soldiers because our soldiers will, you know, the, the Bolshevik ideas, the communist ideas will spread to our people as well. And that would be bad for our own army. So I think in this position, if we don't need that, we're so overwhelmingly powerful, I'm going to actually say no. Otherwise, I would have probably said yes. Finland declares independence from Russia. Okay. And workers in the Ukraine strike for better conditions. They're already falling apart. And we have, we have, we're only just starting to send our troops over. Entente naval units north of Scotland blockade imports to Germany. Well, that is very annoying that we still have to deal with that. Okay, we've developed gas and shell production, advanced subs for Austria-Hungary, gas and shell production for them as well. Industrial technology level 2, artillery weapons level 2 for the Ottoman Empire. That's nice, but I think we're going to attack Cairo without that level 2 artillery. And we're still supporting the Ottoman Empire with points. We have quite a lot, as you can see now. We can do whatever we want, pretty much. Except for Germany. Germany actually was still lacking points. Um, the rest are doing okay. Yeah, okay, so there goes Baghdad. That was to be expected. That was to be expected. Now, what do the Brits do? Okay, the Russians do respond to our uh, advancement here. Oh, yes, they definitely do. They still have cause, that is for sure. And they're bringing troops to the front line here, but I don't think they can bring... I mean, look at this. We brought all of this over, plus all of this. Like a new front line that we're bringing with two headquarters down here. Oh, man. Supporting the... The, the Germans are just going to ignore Lublin. We're going to move straight on to brest and obviously, oh, now I fight that much. Didn't really do much. <laughs> didn't really do much. But it didn't lose anything itself. Oh no! The airship destroyed our headquarter. Damn. Well, that is obviously very bad. So, yeah. The Ottoman Empire definitely needs help desperately. I don't really know what I can do. Okay, this artillery over here is actually quite scary. Depending on how well it is backed up. But yeah, the Russians, they still have level 2 artillery. I see two right here. And I think there's one more at the Austrian front. But I'm not sure about that. Okay, so far detachment is holding. I don't know how that's, how that's gonna go. I always have my cavalry division that can quickly move back to Königsberg if, if necessary. Okay, yeah, another barrage here. Well, I mean, the Russians have to. They have to throw everything they have against me. I'm still surprised at how quickly uh, Italy gave up. They were at 40% morale, and they just decided, nope, we're out. Very unreliable. We might be able to hold Ramadi and Tigrit though. Okay, maybe not. Oof. Yeah, I'll retreat even further. That's actually what's saving us right now. Okay, interesting. The British still sending over more uh, units. Artillery is being pulled back. So let's see what happens here. Okay, British are reinforcing, trying to hold Egypt, but um, yeah, kind of unlikely. Ottoman morale falls to the laws of Baghdad. Entente liberate Mesopotamia. Bolshevik forces grow in strength in Finland. And we disrupt raiders. 
Germans sabotage suspected as 139 die in an explosion in Eddystone, Pennsylvania. Why would I do that? Why would the Germans do this? Like, that makes no sense. That is just propaganda. Literally. Ah, <sighs> lost the headquarter here. Man, <laughs> it's just so bad. Okay, 10 MPP were lost. That's not a whole lot. <sighs> okay. Decision. Kaiser Karl, following Konrad von Hötzendorf's dismissal from his position as Chief of the General Staff, he has requested a command in the field. Providing him with the necessary logistical support will cost us 200 MPPs. Would we like to provide von Hötzendorf with a field command, or shall we let him retire into obscurity? Having failed to lead the Empire's forces to victory, Kaiser Karl dismissed von Hötzendorf, replacing him as Chief of the General Staff with Arthur Arts, Ar Arthur Arts von Straußenburg, there you go. Von Hötzendorf was then appointed to a command on the Italian front. If deploying another HQ unit will assist in the war effort, then it is recommended to say yes. Now, I actually don't need another field command as the uh, Austro-Hungarians. However, since we haven't failed, I mean, I would actually say that von Hötzendorf as uh, chief of staff here has done a good job. Again, Austria-Hungary is just doing amazing. I mean, it, the, the morale shows with like 150%. So, because of that, I don't want him to retire into obscurity. Let him have a field command. Let him do uh, whatever he whatever he can do. I mean, we have the points. We might as well. He has one experience. Okay, we have a Tunisia detachment, but I'm going to um, send that one out in the next turn. For now, that was it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time.